Here's a leading star question for differentiation from first principles. So it's from paper one, 2017, question three. See, it's pretty tricky and your algebra needs to be on point here. But um, as ever, we'll go through it and we'll just show you. I'll do it like in as many steps possible. So I'll try and keep the algebra as neat as possible also. So first off, um, is differentiation this function here from first principles? Let's remember our differentiation principle, our formula. dy dx derivative is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So f of x is our function. So literally we can say straight away that f of x is equal to a third x squared minus x plus three. Okay, so what about f of x plus h? So maybe not gonna be that pretty, but let's have a look and see, okay? So everywhere there's an x, we're gonna replace by x plus h. So that's gonna be a third x plus h to be squared, and then minus x plus h. Always a good idea to put your variables in in brackets when you're changing them, because that minus affects both the x and the h. So um, let's tie this up a bit, expand it, I suppose. So that left with a third, and that is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h and plus 3. So a third affects everything here. So let's actually just put that in. It might make it a bit easier. So a third x squared and then plus 2 over 3xh plus a third of h squared. Yeah, minus x minus h and then a plus 3 on the outside there. Okay, so now let's put them into our formula. So our, we have everything we need. So our dy dx is going to be equal to. So it's a f of x plus h, this is a long stuff here. So that's a third of x squared plus two thirds of x h and then plus one third of h squared minus x minus h plus three then minus f of x which is a third of x squared minus x and then a plus three so yeah, that's pretty long isn't it and then that's all going to be then divided by h and of course i have to i forgot it and i must squeeze it in the limit as h goes to zero here so let's see can we tidy up this top line a bit here so I have a third of x squared. Have any other x squared terms? In here I have. So it looks like I'm gonna have a third of x squared minus a third of x squared. So these guys are gonna be gone, okay? Two thirds x h, there's no other x h term, so I can still put him in. So the limit as h goes to zero because I haven't taken that limit yet. So two thirds of x h, he's survived. h squared stuff, yeah, no other h squared stuff. He's also gonna stay in. A third of h squared. I like to cross them out when I use them, especially in a long algebra equation. Minus x. Now, so I have a minus x here, and I also have a minus x here, except when this minus affects that minus x, it will become a plus x. So minus x plus x, yep, he will go with him, right? And then minus h, well, there's no other minus h that I can see or any other h stuff, so I still have minus h here. And he's now dealt with now plus three, and of course a plus three here which becomes a minus when this comes in. So these go because that's plus three minus three. So what I'm down to here, okay? So I'm down to the limit as h goes to zero is all this stuff. And let's see, can we uh, finish this off? So let's actually take the limit as h goes to zero for this. All right. So we'll say dy dx equals two. Now, let's actually replace all these, oh sorry, before we actually take the limit, no. Let's actually divide in a h. Each term here has a h, which means they're all divisible by the h, right? So two thirds x h divided by h, well, that h will go, because h divides into us, leaving us with two thirds of x. h into this will knock off one of those h's, so we'll be left with one third of h, yeah? And then minus h divided by h. What's that going to give us? Well, h divided into h is 1. It's not 0, so they, they may cancel, but you're left with a 1, or more specifically here, a minus 1. Okay.
Now, when I look at this, now I can take my limit as h goes to zero, because I've tidied this fraction up as much as I can. So when I want to tidy this up, then I can say, okay, dy dx, I can take my limit. The only limit term that has a h is this. So if h goes to zero, it knocks out that, leaving me with just two thirds x and a minus one. And that is the answer. So you can see, first off, I figured out f of x plus h. And then I put it into the formula, took my time, did a big long algebra equation here, eventually got to the end of this. When we got down to here, then we can start cancelling off some of the h's. And that left me with this thing here. And then once I got there, then I'm down to the very last tidying up part. I then can take my limit. The limit knocks out literally the h terms. And you're just left with that and that what didn't have a h. And that turns out that using first principles, that is the derivative of this function here. So I hope that helped.